Well, 2021 was another trying year for our industry. I was very encouraged this year as compared to last, the amount of uh, not only leisure, but business travel uh, throughout the countries uh, that we serve. And um, certainly as compared to 2020, um, significant improvement. I find it exciting for 2021 to see that connectivity became king. We all live a digital and remote life more than ever before. We all stay connected. We need to stay connected. And uh, the requirements in terms of internet traffic and internet bandwidth are just phenomenal. In 2021, we saw the demand for technology surge as optimism and hope fueled product roadmaps around the world. 2021 was different because of how fast things were changing for guests, for hotels and entire regions. This meant it was a year we had to be flexible. From our side, we saw business requirements moving quite frequently and we had to evolve our planning at a much higher frequency than usual. But despite the pandemic and the frequent changes, it was a positive year. A year we could feel how travel is coming back. When I look back on 2021, it's a kind of a roller coaster, right? I'm happy to see that our industry or a large part of our industry hasn't lost its good humor and its confidence. Everybody will say that 2021 has been a challenging year and I make no difference. But I'm very glad that we got to spend Swiss Innovation Day together with you, Leah and Andre. 2021, what a year. I know it's been challenging all around has been challenging for me and I'm certainly looking forward to seeing the other side of it. Uh, but I think, I think that we're seeing a lot of signs for a positive 2022. As we move into 2022, what excites me the most is many hoteliers have taken the time, energy, made investments to change and enhance the way that they serve guests. And I, I am optimistic about the, the new year coming. Uh, I think we'll see continual improvement and we can't wait to see what's next. For 2022, I find it very exciting to see the industry moving towards providing a connected environment, meaning we can all not only connect places, but people and also such people with their profiles. So while we see a trend towards central data platforms with a single guest profile, Combining and connecting that single guest profile with the mobile device, which is in my hand, is certainly the key to any digital strategy. What excites me about 2022 is the potential, as both travelers and the travel industries continue to adapt to changing conditions as both a matter of desire and survival. What excites me for 2022 is to see the industry get through these tougher times and see how many hotels have used this time to plan out better technology solutions within their hotels. I really believe that the good which will come out of this is a thorough upgrade of hotel technology. And for 2022, I'm very excited what happens next. I think it's going to be a year that will be at least as exciting as last year. And I really hope we can all stand up together and show how cool and how strong we are. For the next year, I'm looking forward to see new ways of how um, our industry will deal with the challenges, new anti-fragile ways of, of overcoming obstacles and I'm looking forward to spend the next year with you guys. All the best. As for 22, well, um, certainly from Las Vegas, travel is uh, roaring back. We've had a very busy last half of the year. Large scale events have started again, which is fantastic. Generally, I, I, I sense that things are becoming more positive for the hospitality industry in general. So I'll be looking forward to uh, a much improved 22.